Hi everyone, I am Kancha Albert Fetter and today we will be looking at the, the three phases of deploying my weapon out of the Caesar Kamai or Caesar sit position. Now, there is a Latin phrase that I want you to remember and it is mobilitati vigilis. Now, it's a Latin phrase that actually means in mobility lies victory or in, mo in mobility lies strength. It is the central chord of all the Konchotakan Karate weapons syllabus. So it means as long as I'm mobile or moving around, my chances of being victorious or surviving will be much greater. But before we begin, please hit the like, subscribe and notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of our newest videos. Okay, let's start with phase one. Phase one will be me moving from Caesar sit up into a forward position, deploying my sword, and then of course also applying a counter cut just after deploying of the blade. So I will either move to the front, to other side, or to the back, getting my blade out of the sire as fast as possible. So moving to the front will look something like this. Moving to the right hand side, something like this. Moving to the left hand side, something like this. And then of course moving to the back, so I'll just turn around so you can have a better view. It'll look something like this. Now the second phase will be where I am employing the toby or jumping techniques either going forward to the sides or to the back that will just assist me in getting onto my feet as quickly as possible, deploying my blade and then employing a counter cut. So going to the front will look something like this. Deploying to the left hand side will look something like this. Deploying to the right hand side something like this. And then of course, Toby deploying to the back side, so I'll just turn around, so you can have a bit of it again. Something like this. The third phase of deploying my weapon out of Caesar Sid, either a defensive or an attacking posture, will have me also either moving to the front, the side, or to the back, rolling out, deploying my blade, and then doing a counter cut. So, starting with rolling to the front, I'll deploy my blade like this. Running to the back, 
will do something like this. Running up to the right hand side will look something like this. And then running up to the left hand side will look something like this. Well, okay, that was our look at the three stages of deploying my weapon out of Caesar Sit or Caesar Kamai, and then the directions that I can go in as I deploy my blade. Now, the Genda Teki Kim in the Ajutsu syllabus is an integral part of the Tokon Shotokan Karate Academy, and it makes up a part of a bigger syllabus. And it is important to us that by the time all of our students reach this black belt that they should have a proper understanding of either the Gendai Teki Kirin Iajutsu or the Gendai Teki Koyujutsu syllabus. Please remember all edged weapons or any form of weapons are by nature dangerous so take caution and be safe. Mm -hmm.